I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. Very challenging. There are even tournaments nowadays for Siamese Mahjong. Many times in tournaments, they pre-select categories. And if you win a hand in that pre-selected category, you could win a prize. So in this exercise, we're going to force hands in pre-selected categories to practice winning a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to force hands in just these categories. We're going to do three random pulls. So we'll have an opportunity to play two for each pull. We'll alternate between player one with 28 tiles and player two with 27. We have three jokers, almost news with a pair of Vs. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, pung of six pair of eights. We have a white and a red dragon. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine singles in dots. For BAMs, we have eight, nine with a pair of eights. We need to force these categories. Which two would you force using these tiles? If these were my tiles, I think I would force consecutive run and two, four, six, eight. This will be a challenge, five through nine, building around the eight somehow, probably six through nine might be best but I would just keep it all and just see what happens. Here, we could do two, four, six, eight using jokers. Two, four, six, eight. Or two, four, six, eight dragon. So this may or may not be useful here with consecutive run, but I think that's how I would do it. Hold this to see if our opponent is playing wins, we might be able to get a joker there. I think probably these are going to be needed down here for consecutive run. Something five through nine or six through nine, something including the eight. So we have two, four, six, eight and consecutive run. I was thinking that there could be some potential for year hand concealed right here. But I think two, four, six, eight is stronger and there are way more tiles to work with for consecutive run than one year hand, one specific year hand. I think this is what I would do. Okay, next force. We have a couple of jokers, a pair of flowers north, green and white dragon, three, seven, eight, or three, seven, eight and cracks with pairs of sevens and eights, 
In dots, we have one, two, seven, eight pair of eights. In bams, we have one, two, three, five, seven, nine. Pair one, pung two, pair seven. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play a year hand and force a singles and pairs with big odds. Here's the year hand. That would be the third hand down under the year. We have a good number of those twos where we need a single. We'd have to let this go if that's the one we played, but we could maybe play the second hand down, use these down here for something with big odds or even like numbers. So there's potential there for a year hand. And then here, for either like numbers with sevens we could do or five seven nine pair hand i think that's what i would shoot for because that would allow us to use those sevens we need a five dot five crack and then build up here we need a nine crack too so there's work to be done but there's groundwork laid there we could use this for joker bait potentially for the year hand so start by discarding these for a singles and pairs and a year hand. We have a joker, pair of flowers, west and south, white dragon. In dots, we have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, pair two, four, six. And then in cracks, we have two, four, five, seven, pair fours. In bams, we have two, three, four, seven, eight, pair of eights. We need to force winds and dragons and like numbers here. We have all the fours. So I think I would try maybe like numbers with fours. So here's like number, maybe like numbers with fours, because we need to do winds and dragons too. So like numbers with fours and flowers. We've got two pair in there. And then here we could do a year hand with either east and west or north and south. Then these would be joker bait and discards, which is actually seems like a lot. It is a lot. We have eight discards with lots of joker bait. Year, a year hand here. Oh, let's see. That would be the concealed year hand. No, no, no. This would be east and west or north and south with the year because a year hand could be played in the year category, but we have winds and dragons up there. So we would need to bring in winds and dragons. So I think that's how I would play it. If you would do this differently, write force three and what you would do with these tiles for these two categories. Winds and dragons and like numbers. This would definitely be a force. Siamese Mahjong is relatively new to the Mahjong community. Many people now enjoy Siamese Mahjong more than the four player game. If you haven't tried it yet, look in the video description below for a link to the rules and scoring. If you like this video, 
give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.